Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, in Wisconsin, yeah, a uh, a dairy plant caught fire. And a it, dairy plant. A dairy plant, like you know, okay. where they make like dairy products. And, okay. Uh, and what ended up happening was it ended up sending the melted contents of the storage room full of butter flowing through the building as it went up in flames. So the butter melts out, runs all out into the streets, into the sewer, into the canal, and it's cold as ish in Wisconsin right now. So now there's like clogged butter all over in the goddamn it's, uh, oh it's God. in the in like in the stuff. Could you just matter imagine like you go out and there's just like greasy butter like chalked up all over the goddamn street? Like, uh, yuck. Yeah. You can't do nothing with it. Yeah, you got to apply heat back to it to get it to melt. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not eating it. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, Timmy, go out and get some butter for the bread. It's in the road. Yeah, room. I'm not going <laughs> to just run out and go, like, scrape my bread on the blacktop and try, to get, <laughs> try to get an even spread. So I was like, what are the odds of something wild like that happening? Just like. Yeah, I wonder like what other ramifications could come from that much like dairy because dairy is it's going to mold, it's going to congeal. Butter doesn't mold, does it? Uh, I mean, butter will congeal, but like people leave butter out on the counter all the time. Yeah, but, but I feel like if it goes through like the heat and the wet and the if it comes into contact with other like, like bacteria, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, because yeah, it, it's yeah. very uh, yeah. I don't know, like because I know. I never leave butter out, but I know my grandma kept a butter dish like on the table all the time. That shit never went in the fridge. Nah. I'm going to let you know right now, people at home, if you're leaving your butter on the counter on a dish, you're a psychopath. Has a lid. You're a psychopath. And that's I mean, no no offense to your family, Jonas. No offense. They're fine. They can do it. It's all right, Anybody man. else right now, if you're doing that, you're a psychopath. <laughs> Jonas's family, you're cool. Anyone else? Get the hell out of here, you crazy ass. <laughs> you're a psychopath. Uh, you're putting warm butter on bread. What are you What are you doing? I mean, that's the only way to spread butter. No, you butter the, doesn't spread when it's cold. No, that's you the, get the cold butter out of the refrigerator, and you cut it into little slivers that are impossible to spread like the rest of us. Yeah, like, well... Here's the other thing. I don't even like use butter. I haven't used butter in a long, long time. No, I haven't either. Like I, I keep some crunchy crock in the fridge, but like I couldn't even tell you the last time I put it on anything. Like I made, I think when I made a grilled cheese like a few months ago, like six months ago, I put it on there. Does yeah. butter go bad? Does country crock go bad? It's not even real butter. I, I so don't like, know what, I don't know what country crock is, man. But it's, nothing. It's margarine. Nothing should come in a tub that size. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and then, nothing congealed and spreadable should come right? in a tub like I, that. I think that it's just crazy how we've been lied to like since Excuse we were me? we've been li we've been lied to. About what? We've been lied to for all these years that like butter was one of those things that oh I'm going to the grocery store, I need to get butter, milk, and eggs. I don't eat any of those anymore. I mean I'll eat eggs. I don't really I'll drink, eat eggs. No, no, I don't really no. drink I don't really drink milk anymore. Yeah, exactly. and I don't really get but I mean, okay, full disclosure, I I love milk, and the reason I don't buy it is that I could drink a unhealthy amount of it every day. That's disgusting. Um, so I don't buy it, but I still don't buy it. So yeah, I don't buy butter. I don't buy milk. I do buy. I do keep eggs in the house, and then I forget how much I like eggs, and then they always go bad. And they only take like two minutes to cook. They taste good. And they're actually like not bad calorically for you. Yeah, they take a lot of prep though, man. Because you got it. I mean, like there's cooking, there's the cleaning of the dish. Because you can't just like toss an egg in the microwave and then like, yeah, well, crack it on a plate. Pan up. I I just like crack two eggs in the pan, throw the shells away. Stir yeah, but then you got to clean the pan and you got to actually be at the stove. I don't know, man. You can't Look, just let them simmer. That's for God. I'm, damn a, I'm a millennial, so anything I can't get off a of favor or Grubhub to my house, then you know it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, it it's was interesting. Problem. It wasn't interesting at uh, at uh, work. I uh, ordered some of my people some food, and we like, and we. Uh, you know, would order for just had it delivered to their house or whatever. Sure. And they and one of them was like, "Yeah, I, w I want su such and such." And I was like, "Okay." And she's like, "I think it's only on whatever service." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." I was like, "I've never, I've never used that." And she goes, "You've never, you've never used that?" And I go, "No, I don't ever get anything delivered to my house except for pizza. Like, I don't really use yeah. Grubhub or like whatever. I have a handful of times, right?" Yeah. And she was like, "Oh my god, I use it all the time." And I was like. Here's my thing. What? 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 
every time I, I've thought about doing it many times. Thought every about, time I get the whole order placed and I realize I'm paying, like you made this point, paying $40 for a salad. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go pick it up or I won't get it. Forty dollars for your skinny licious salad from the uh, cheesecake factory. Yeah, dude. Like, like, yeah. We, like, yeah. We had a pizza delivered through Grubhub because the pizza place doesn't deliver. It was like seventy dollars, and I was like, for a pizza and some fried pickles, and I was like, yeah. that is not worth it. And then we went and got it, and it was twenty bucks. Yeah, or thirty bucks or whatever. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. A, there was a difference in the price for sure. Oh yeah, well, because it's like you got to pay. The delivery fee and the tip, and that adds like fifteen plus dollars to the goddamn order. And I'm like, the order only caught you're give you're hundred percenting the tip almost on that stuff. Yeah, I don't. It, it's just not the value ain't there because the food ain't even that good. It's all cold and soggy. You get fries, you might as well throw them bitches in the trash. Hey man, that that service is one of those things where it's like. Obviously, it's something new, and obviously, when you think about it, it's something that should have existed a million years ago. Yeah, it, it's it's really uh, ridiculous that it took a pandemic to get people to get to come up with curbside grocery delivery, where you just yeah. drive up to the store and then put it in your car, and to have like where you it was go happening, to, but just you, not. Or you as can go much. to any restaurant and just have it delivered to your house, like from yeah. a, a service that's a delivery service, not a. I don't know. Yeah, it's like and why? that was pre-pandemic too, but it it it, it, blew it up. gained traction. Oh, dude, like time. I know people now. I know most people I know now only use curbside pickup for groceries because they hate grocery shopping. Wow. Like, they just do it on the app and drive up and they put it in their back seat and they drive it home. See, and I, it's like, I love the accessibility because I, also, I too, hate talking to other you individuals. You seem like someone that would use it, and I know you don't. I do. I, I, I do. I do seem like the type because I, I hate uh, interacting with humans. Um, but I do recognize that it's bad in the long term for the culture of America as a whole, because we're slowly getting away from that interpersonal activity. And it's, it's some Hikamori type shit, and man. It's the Japanese. Ourselves. I'm about to say. And, and also like doing things for ourselves. Like, like you have be basic things in life you need to do clean. What do you mean? Like, everyone's like, I'll just pay someone to clean. I'll pay someone to get my groceries. I'll yeah. pay like everyone's like, hey, but no one makes enough goddamn money to do that. But that's what they do. Anyways, uh, we, we hit more. Go back to it's, that. It's, it's not that, you know, we we've, we're going to forget how to get groceries. I don't know if I see that happening, but. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like it, it, Japanese culture, they have something called hikamori where it's like, you know, uh, people end up spending so much time in their houses that they become antisocial. Oh, well, I mean, that was the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even me, I was like the most social mother effer ever before the pandemic. And like, I, I, I still go out and do stuff now, but like, I really just hang out. I hang out with like a, a, a few people now. Like, yeah. I don't, I, I used to just want to be like, let's go out and be around people. Now I'm like, no, I'll hang out with like this dude, this girl, <laughs> this guy, these, this, this couple, like I'm good. Hey, like I got enough hey, friends yo, now. We went out, we went out for new year's though, man. Yeah. We, we did. did go out for new year's. I mean, we is, is any of that party, footage going to make it to the surface? Yeah, it will. I mean, I got to like, I have a crappy computer, so like I do plan on editing it. It's just going to take me a long time. That's fine. Me, me and Jonas went out for New Year's. We got some footage. We got a we got a new thing we might be doing for the pot for for the channel. Um, I would love to keep doing it. We this this one will probably be. I imagine there's probably maybe thirty seconds to a minute. The, the whole thing is going to be. Fine. A very short I, I want to see the short. We can put it on the shorts on the yeah, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. So and hopefully it hits. But uh, yeah, we went out and talked to some people and got we we got our pulse on the finger of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> do not have our pulse on the fingers of the street. Yeah. And by the way, let me tell you something right now. If you're at home and you're drinking milk, you're a psychopath. Really? Psychopath. I love milk. Nobody you should nobody should be drinking milk. I, milk. I could drink Jonas. Well, let's see. Jonas. I could probably drink at Jonas. least a half gallon of milk a day. Milk is for baby cows, <laughs> not for your grown ass. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. I'll be up.